Many, many questions are being raised over DK Ravi's death. As I said, the police at the moment say it appears to be suicide, but have they jumped to conclusions on this? Should they have waited until the probe, the post-mortem and other forensic tests were over? And what does this really say about the system? Is India now uh, a country where honest men and women just can't do their work? Has the system failed these men and women? Brajesh Kalappa, spokesperson of the Congress Party, joins us tonight. Sambit Patra, spokesperson of the BJP. Also, former IAS officer Arun Bhatia joining us tonight. Tonight from Delhi. Mr. Bharti, I'll take that question to you first. Uh, you know, just looking at, at what you've read about this case so far, do you believe that there, there are just too many questions that you still have, uh, uh, you know, b before you would, you know, agree with the police version on this? Uh, Ma'am, what I'd like to say is that uh, in a country where corruption is so deep-rooted, um, the nexus is between politicians, bureaucrats and mafia gangs. That is how this corruption exists. And it is the mafia that runs uh, the uh, theft of sand, evasion of taxes, illegal buildings. So any honest officer who goes against these vested interests is really in for trouble. And you do get threat calls, death calls. That's a fact. The problem is that when something, when he, uh, retribution comes, who does one go to for protection? Because again, you have to go to a corrupt system, the same mafia gangs, the same politicians, the same bureaucrats, and say, hey, protect me, I'm getting death threats. It's not a simple uh, situation. And now, it's because a public servant has uh, said to have committed suicide, it must be probed. It's too convenient. Okay, he, the guy may be crazy or it may be a love affair gone bad. But if it's a public servant, look at the circumstances, a public servant, reputed to be honest, messing around with the mafia, and tomorrow he's found dead. And the cops don't even investigate. Before that, they say, it looks like suicide. Hell no. To me, it looks like murder. Well, th those are very strong yes. words from you. And are you saying, therefore, that nothing less than a CBI probe would do? Are you saying that a, yes. a CID probe by the state government is not enough? Yeah, because you see, what happens is, as I said, uh, the politicians and the bureaucrats in that particular state nurture these mafia groups. So actually you have to go to an institution which is outside the state. I mean, there's no guarantee that the CBI also will uh, do a clean job. But yes, it will certainly be a more professional and uh, more honest in doing this investigation. You have to get out of that environment and give the investigation to another agency, an independent agency, preferably out of the state. Okay. So, so I don't understand why. You, all right. Yeah. No. So, so Arun Bhatia there very clearly saying he doesn't believe the police's version that, uh, and, and of course, I mean, we're not here to uh, you know pass a judgment on whether this was murder or suicide, but I think we're certainly here to ask questions about whether Brajesh Kalappa, the police, was too quick to call it suicide. I mean, on what basis did they say that there is no suicide note that has been found? The investigation is still underway. The forensic tests are still underway. Even before a post mortem could be conducted, the police commissioner goes on television and says that this is what it <coughs> appears to be. Therefore, should they have not waited for the probe to be completed before <coughs> uh, you know, making an assessment? Uh, Nidhi, I think you'll agree with me that uh, when uh, a person leaves his home in the morning, attends office and goes along with his official car, his driver drives him uh, to his own home because he was uh, staying for the night in his father-in-law's residence and then he goes to his own home and he's making some arrangements for uh, his parents to come and join in, right? And uh, they, he leaves in the morning and uh, goes to his own home and then opens the door and then he remains there for the rest of the day. In the meantime, his wife has called him several times. And then uh, when she realizes that he's not picking up the phone, she, she uh, travels to her own home, opens the do door with uh, her own key and finds that uh, the man is... Uh, you know, in a, uh, in a state of, you know, he's, he's hung, he's hung himself. And uh, when this happens and the wife uh, recovers the body and then she informs the police, the police are entitled to make a prima facie finding that this seems to be yeah, a case of suicide, right? Prima facie, of course, everybody has to make a prima facie finding. Is the police can't say that, no, we're not going but, to make any statement. But, but to be honest, uh, Mr. Kalapa, nothing that you have said right now, found, I mean, 
it, nothing that you have said right now proves anything one way or the other. I think the question is that here was a young man. Surely it should raise alarm bells in the state government. A young man, just 35 years old, very popular, uh, you know, as, as an upright officer, fearless. He's been, you know, taking on the bad guys. Okay, let's face it. He's been taking on the bad guys. Uh, his, his friends just can't believe that he would take a step like this. Surely this warranted a more detailed, maybe he did commit suicide. I'm not saying he didn't. But it, 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 perhaps, perhaps the police commissioner shouldn't have been so quick to rush to, to announce that it is a suicide or to suggest that until every forensic uh, test was over, Mr. Kalapa. No, but, but Prime Officer, he has to say something. Otherwise, will the press leave him? The pre pre he has to say so something to the press That's that, you know, this That's appears wrong. to be so and so, so and so. He has, no, no, I'm say, saying that Prime Officer, he has to say something. And he has said the Prime Officer view is that it is a case of suicide, one. And two, insofar as Mr. D.K. Ravi is concerned, he was handpicked by the Chief Minister. Handpicked by the Chief Minister to come and work in the Chief Minister's own department. The Chief Minister, our Chief Minister, Mr. Sidramaya, he heads the Department of Finance. Mr. D.K. Ravi was handpicked by Mr. Sidramaya to come and work in the Ministry of Finance. He was holding the position of additional commissioner of commercial taxes and he was doing an outstanding okay, but job. Sambit Patra, he had been you able disagree. to get a lot of money to the state exchequer. Okay, no, Sambit Patra, you disagree. You believe that the police jumped to con too fast to a conclusion here. Is that what you think? Uh, or, so, or, 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 or do you, or as Mr. Kalappa says, the police are just giving a prima facie assessment of what they think happened. Nidhi, I disagree with one statement of my friend Mr. Kalappa and the statement which I disagree with is that Prima Fisai, the police had to say something otherwise the press would not have left the police. I mean this country does not function according to I mean any statement you know it has to be a true statement that is what is more important and truth may take some time to say to it that just because the press wanted a statement the police commissioner had to make a statement is a wrong thing secondly let's not make this debate a political debate and let me not try to score some point over my friend over here this is a problem which India is facing since long thirdly let me not act as a cop or a CBI I am a politician and let me behave as a politician let me not jump guns and say that well it was a murder or it was a suicide there are bodies which will judge what it was through the course of time but today I am hurt because a very young talent of this country is lost just 35 years old just imagine a man who was talented a man who was highly qualified um, over above all a man who was so honest who took on great racketeers who took on politicians who took on even the police who took, if, if you remember Nidhi he had fight with the SSP of Kolar also he took on mafias he fought with everyone. He was so young, bright chap and he, we have lost him. The country has lost him. We have to find a way by which we can protect such people in the future. And secondly, that the culprits, if any, if any, I don't know what the truth is, the culprits, yeah. if any, are found. Okay, okay. Thirdly, yeah. in this, whether CBI or CID, the guiding principle should be, there should be no colliding interest between the state and the investigating officers, investigating agencies, because as the articles after articles say that the interest of the state is otherwise to what the interest of honesty was. Okay, let, 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 me, let me just get in Mr. Uh, Radha Krishna, who joins us tonight from Bangalore, uh, who is a friend uh, of, uh, of Mr. Ravi's. And, and Mr. Radha Krishna, first I, I would like to express uh, uh, condolences for your loss. I'm sorry that you've lost your friend today. Uh, I know this must be a very difficult time for you, but if, if you could just shed any light on, on uh, you know, his state of mind, uh, you know, whether you believed he was disturbed in any way, do you really think as his friend um, that he could have taken his own life? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, DK Ravi, we are all studied together from uh, Agriculture College, GKVK. We are all together studied for four years. You know, he is mentally very strong. He wants to do something for the society. That's why he, he, he has done his level best and ultimately this is the end result. I know, where is the moral for the people who want to do something for the society?